Hello, in this video, we will explore what Raglom is, what are its main features and how to configure it locally. So let's get started. Raglom delivers a production grade retrieval augmented generation microservice, which is powered by fast API. It enables organizations to integrate their proprietary data with cutting edge generative AI LLM models, transforming static knowledge base into the dynamic AI driven experiences. In just days, business teams can move from simply considering AI adoption to seeing measurable results in areas like customer support and research synthesis. So let's jump into the documentation first. We will see prerequisites and environment setup. There are a few things which needs to be installed first before using the Ragloom. As mentioned in the documentation, the first one is Python and Git. The next step is cloning the repository and creating a virtual environment then utilizing or activating that virtual environment. All of these commands are specified in the documentation. After that, Python dependencies should be installed. You can specify the configuration parameters using the environment file. There is a sample environment variable files available in the repository which can be used before running the Ragloom service. Some of the essential settings are the first one definitely LLM provider. Uh, you can specify Ololama, OpenAI, Coherent, or few other supported uh, LNM models, which we will discuss later in this video. For vector stores, you can use Chroma, Qdrent, or Radius. And yeah, let's move to some next steps. So I already cloned the repository of Ragloom. I first of all installed the dependencies and created and activated the virtual environment for this. So for quickly starting, there are a few options for users. There are a few utility scripts, quick start, which you can use for quickly launching the Ragloom service with some minimum configuration. I will be using these scripts. If you want to quickly set up, maybe you can use quick start setup. Uh, this will install dependencies, prepare the environment and run some um, smoke checks. So all of these steps are done on my local environment for saving time. So I will quickly jump to quick start VS code. I will go through from repository some of the files which are necessary for configuring the Raglom service. First of all, as you can see on my screen, there's a ENV environment file, uh, which is pre-configured for my local usage. Uh, you can specify the LLM provider. Currently I'm using Ololama with Gamma 2, 2B model. And you can also specify the vector store here. I am using Qdrent. Note, it allows you to specify the URL as well as its port. You, so it's very easy to switch to a different LLM model or a different vector store just with one click. As well as for uh, this Ragloom service, you can specify the port number uh, service host and then there are some additional uh, production settings then you can specify chunk size chunk overlap these kind of things uh, these are also configurable for retrieval embedding models security settings monitoring and storage there are some additional flags all of these flags are uh, described in the documentation as well you can quickly jump to that here as you can see uh, there are main categories of these environment variables. The first one is platform and run. Uh, instead of going into each one, I will just mention the important one uh, from the category perspective. Then uh, the second one is vector store. As I mentioned, you can use Chroma, Qdrent or Redis. You can specify their ports and where they are hosted. You can specify the LLM providers. There are multiple LLM uh, age and models supported. For example, models hosted on Ololama either remotely or on your local infrastructure. You can use OpenAI, ChatGPT. Okay, then there are environment variables for security and access and things like that. Yeah, for my local testing, I'm using dev infra script located in util scripts. So there are a few commands, for example, as mentioned here, for starting development infrastructure, it will launch the Docker containers. Specifically, let me jump back to the real studio. For example, uh, for local testing, it will launch a Qdrent on these specified ports as well as Ololama. Plus, it will also install the model as specified in the environment variables locally. 
So as you can see in the Docker Compose, I have these services up and running because instead of waiting for the images to download and containers to start, I already pre-configured it. I have QDRent vector store running and I have Olenama up and running hosting LLM model. Let's start Raglum service. And let's start. So the Raglum starts uh, based on given environment variable parameters. You can specify the port and you can also specify multiple other things. We have Raglum service started. It will add logs in the service.log file as well as it will create the service.pid. So now we have Raglum ready for exploring. Okay, the next thing is I'll jump to some of the RESTful endpoints currently which are exposed by Raglum. The first one is service health endpoint and it returns basically if service is healthy or if it's degraded or if it's completely down. It tells the status of vector store and which vector store is running in the backend, embedding and its status, LLM model. For example, if I'm using Gamma 2, it will show the model name as well as whether it's up or running. So let's jump to Postman and send this request to health endpoint. Yeah, it's returning these are up. For example, let's turn down Ola Lama and let's check again. In the postman. Let me resend the request. Okay, so it's telling LLM is down now because I turned it off in the back end. So the Raglum is aware about this status. Okay, so the next restful endpoint is for ingestion. As you know, LLMs are trained for some specific date and these are not trained for your private company data. So in case if you want to do some research or utilize LLM for your questions that are based on your local knowledge base, LLM cannot answer. The problem is it's not trained for that data. In case if you want to train the LLM, it's very costly and keeping up the LLM is another huge challenge for latest data. So the best thing is using the Raglum and uploading your files into the locally hosted or in some local cloud hosted vector store. First of all, I think let's jump to the generation first. I will ask uh, some question to LLM as you can see uh, for generation endpoint, uh, the request structure and the normal response structure and the request you can specify the query and max tokens and temperature. Let's go to Postman. So in gen generate, let me send a query. Okay, as you can see, uh, it have replied. I sent a question, how many legs this hypothetical animal have? And it tells the provided text does not contain information about the number of legs Mark re have. Interesting, LLM doesn't know about this. Okay, so the next endpoint I will launch is ingest, as you can see in the documentation. Uh, you can specify the file and you can also specify the chunk parameters in case if you want to do that from the client side and this kind of response will be returned from the rag service. Okay, uh, I will upload a file, for example, this one, which I have information about Macri, uh, hypothetical animal that I thought. So Macri have 418 legs, funny. <laughs> and I sent a request, it quickly processed successfully. And in the backend, there were so many things which happened by the Raglum server. It created chunks and it created vector representations and stored in the vector database. So now we have information about the this new animal. Let's send question again to the Raglum. Ah, as you can see, 
it have replied now accurately this animal have 418 legs and it also told the source for this very interesting so there are multiple other endpoints exposed as well for example search which only search for inside uh, local raglum as well as for ingestion file ingestion in in the vector database by raglum there is a batch endpoint as well where you can specify the multiple files for ingestion into the raglum thank you for your time for any questions don't hesitate to reach us